Kamala Harris back in North Carolina today. She made yet another campaign stop here in Charlotte as she looks to win our battleground state's electoral votes. Polls continue to show the presidential race here is a toss up. And WBTV has been at the Bojangles Coliseum all day. Our chief investigative reporter Nick Oxner joins us now live. Nick. Yeah, Siobhan, Jamie, Bojangles Coliseum was nearly full as the vice president took the stage just about an hour ago. Obviously, things a lot different now. It's empty behind me. But today's stop, the first since the debate on Tuesday night between Republican nominee Donald Trump, was all about carrying the momentum that the Harris campaign says she got coming out of the debate and using it to energize her voters and her supporters. Specifically in today's rally, we heard Harris continue to hammer on those themes of the economy, on issues like abortion and most importantly maybe for the folks here in North Carolina she also used her speech to single out some down ballot races including highlighting controversial comments Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson the Republican candidate for governor has made and highlighted other council of state uh, Democrats running statewide at the end of the day though Harris was cautious as she told the audience her supporters here today that they can't get comfortable they expect a tight race here in the battleground of North Carolina. Take a listen to some of what she said. Ours will be a very tight race until the end, okay? It's going to be a tight race until the end, and we are the underdog. Understand that. We are the underdog. And with your help, we will win in November. We will win. We will. So, North Carolina, today I'm going to ask you, are you ready to make your voices heard? So you've seen North Carolina become much more pivotal. We've seen more visits from the vice president, and we've seen more visits from her opponent, Donald Trump, in the last month and a half or so. That is only going to continue. North Carolina is a must win for the Trump campaign. It's a like to win or a crucial state for the Harris campaign. And the Harris campaign spokesman told me yesterday in an interview he believes and the Harris campaign believes they can win North Carolina. That'd be a first time North Carolina has gone blue since 2000. For now, reporting live at Bojangles Coliseum, Nick Oxner, WBTV, on your side. Nick, thank you.